So another Rev slider tutorial and today we'll cover about the row and column. So this is one of the preset slides in Deep Slider, and like this elements in here is consists with a column or a row at the same time. I'm going to teach you how you can edit this part and how you can also start from scratch and use the row and column. So let's start first with editing the preset content in our rev slide. So this is one of the examples in here. And if you notice, if you double tap these elements in here, you see there is a row and inside of that is there is a column. Okay, let me just double tap that. Let me just drag this, uh, make it a little bit bigger. So here, so basically it has a column and inside that column, we, or this slides is using three fourth by one fourth, which is this one, okay? Now, if you want this to change maybe one fourth because this picture was, um, I mean, you want this picture to be visible, then what you can do is tap this column elements and then you click this one in here. So let me just make sure as well that the break add, if you want this to be um, applied on a desktop mode because currently it, it is in a mobile mode or tablet mode. So you need to um, choose the break at first. And then let's say you want this to be just one half by one half instead of three fourth by three fourth. So just click that and make sure you update it. So update and that's how it works. Um, it might be, we can also, I think we can just make it two third by one third. So like that. And we can also change or drag some of the content in here. Just try it out. Yeah, so three fourth by three fourth. That's how it works. And make sure you save it to apply the changes that you have made. Now, um, if you want this, so let me just stop the columns again in here. And there is a section in here called row position. If you want to make it centered, just click that. You want to make it at the bottom or at the top. So that's how it works. And I can also just drag that. Oh, yeah, you can drag it for some reason. But these are just like, okay, these are just like the position that you can choose for a column. There is a row um, on the top middle and at the bottom part now if you want this to be like close to each other what you can do or the workaround you can do is click the size and position on the sorry style of rather and then scroll down and this part here under the spacing you can add a button like a maybe 120 pixel bottom Oh, so um, just double tap this to unlock his other spacing as well. So we want that to be zero. This one is zero. This one is zero. And then the bottom is 120 pixel. So that's basically how it works. And again, okay, so let's say this one. What you can do is you just need to just move this row at the top. So it is more, okay, okay, let me try this one, double, double tap this, column, four columns, that's double tap, okay. So uh, it, it's, for some reason it's loading, but basically you just need to put the elements at a bottom part if you want it to be positioned in the front side, okay. So. Okay, I forgot to save it, but let's just go back in here and update it. Okay, this one, brother. Update. Okay, so we're, we're good in that. Let's say you want to start from scratch because this is a preset slide. So 
What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another slide, a blank slide for us to get started, and then click the add a layer and then row. So on the row, it's automatically set a column to three third or um, one third by one third. Now if you want to update that, what you can do again is click the row and then let's say I want to set it to be one half by one half for the this separation and for the um, notepad I want this to be full width so make sure you check that so if you choose to desktop it is so let's try again here so if it is a laptop mode we want it to be one half but if it is a notepad, still I want it to be one half. Let's try it again. One half. But if it is a tablet, I want it to be full width. Okay. So once you've already set your columns by devices, we can stand we can then start adding and elements like text okay so here if you notice we can drag this at the bottom part here so this is the text and like that new layer you can add another text in here maybe just a button this one and want to drag it in here And then while you are doing that, so make sure that the elements is inside the column. So when you um, start, let me ch and check that, when you start to adjust the column view or the layout. So here, column, you want the, start with the array, this one, by one half. I can I can drag that there, or and one up by one up. This one is better. So update, and then this one I want it to be there, and the style. Double top of that. Okay, center. So you can play around with the styling just always double top this column element so you can see the layout or the row settings and make sure that these elements in here if you can see here column one is the text which is called new layer and column two is the button element so that's how you can play around with the columns and again if you want to delete this one super simple just click that again and click the delete icon that's how it works and if you have any question please don't forget to comment down below i'll be happy to answer that thank you and have a great day